I want to give you five real problems with the golden path of make money online. Hey, what is up everybody? This is Cam Jennings here, AKA Cam Fats, coming at you on behalf of epicconversions.com. And, you know, I'm just wrapping up another day of work here, uh, working online for myself, as I've done for several years now. And I have thoughts going through my head that I just wanted to share with you guys. I have to say, I've thought about this, and to me, I think that there's a kind of golden path to make money online. It's the golden path that you're set upon as soon as you decide you don't like your job, as soon as you decide that you're trying to figure out something else. Maybe you're on the verge of retirement. Maybe you're looking for something to do after you retire. Maybe you hate your job. Maybe you're just looking for an income. But you hit your first sales page. You hit your first product. And now you're on that golden path. It's the golden path you were set on buy that first sales page. Hey, maybe even I am a contributing factor. Maybe even I have contributed uh, to you being on that golden path of make money online. I've always tried to be honest with my sales messages. I've always tried to be transparent to people with my marketing, but let's be fair. Maybe even I contributed to you being on that golden path of make money online. But I want to give you five problems with that golden path right now. I want to give you five real problems with the golden path of make money online. So let's get into it. The first one, it's actually not very passive. The golden path of make money online would have you believe that it's quite passive. Your income is, is quite passive. The fact of the matter is it's not very passive. Even if you think about YouTube itself, it's, it's not passive. Um, you have to actually make the videos, edit the videos. You think you can just put up a bunch of videos and they're just going to sit there and make you money and you don't have to do anything else? It's not true. YouTube's going to reward new things that are coming out constantly. And let me tell you something. It's not just YouTube. It's everywhere else too. It's everywhere else too. We're on a 24-hour news cycle. So things that come out new things that come out fresh, those things are being rewarded. Um, the fact of the matter is the golden path of the laptop lifestyle or the make money online lifestyle, it's not passive. It takes a certain kind of person to set up what is necessary to work online. It takes a lot of front loading of work. You have to set up systems uh, that will work for you. And then actually, you don't just gotta leave those systems alone. You actually have to continue to adjust those systems and manipulate those systems to keep them working efficiently. You don't just get to set them and forget them and leave them alone. Um, and, and you know, that takes a certain kind of person to do that. It takes an ambitious person. It takes a person who is not lazy. The problem with that is most people who are looking for online work um, they have a certain lazy side to them. They don't want to work hard. But what I've found is to set up online systems and to keep them running efficiently, you do have to work hard. It's, it's work. Another thing that I found uh, that's a problem with the golden path of make money online is that you constantly have to learn new things, like incessantly. There's always something new coming out some new social media platform, some new product that you need to learn about, some new traffic source, some new this, some new that. There's always something new coming out that you have to learn about. It's never just like, you think you can just set these systems up and forget about them and you're just gonna sit back and make passive online income. It's not the case. You're constantly going to be learning about new things. That's, that's just the way it is. And I think a lot of people get that wrong. They go to this sales page or that sales page. They think, oh, it's going to be 10 minutes a day and I'm not going to have to do anything else. And it's no big deal. It's going to be awesome. That's not true. 
Maybe it'll be like that for a month or two. Maybe it'll even be like that for 12 months. Maybe it'll even be like that for two years, but eventually it's going to change and you're going to have to adjust the whole system to get it working again. Just like, that's just like what happened to me with YouTube. For an example, um, I had a YouTube system running really, really good from like 2013 to 2016. And then it was not running quite as good. And then 2018 hit and it completely collapsed. And I had to adjust the whole entire system on YouTube to get it, start making money again. It was absolutely crazy. But that's just a small example. And the fact of the matter is you're constantly going to be learning new things. So if you didn't like school and you didn't like going to college, then I don't know what makes you think you're going to like making money online because you're going to be constantly learning new things to do it. Point blank. Um... I was trying to do this video without saying um, and I didn't do it. Damn it. <laughs> Number three, the top of mind monster. You know, the fact of the matter is when you are making money online, you have to stay top of mind. If you don't stay top of mind in this 24 hour news cycle nightmare that we live in, people will just forget about you. You can put something out like a week ago, Two weeks ago, it's ancient history. You might as well have fallen off the face of the earth. Other people are going to be putting things out every single day, tw two times a day, three times a day, four times a day, five times a day, every minute. Who knows? <laughs> people are always going to be putting things out. You're very quickly going to be pushed to the back and people are going to forget about you. To think that you can put one course out there or to think that you can put one advert out there and you're just going to sit back and collect fat money from selling shovels on the internet is an absolute fiction. You're, you're constantly going to be putting things out there. You have to stay top of mind, whether it's through paid advertising or whether it's through free advertising, organic advertising, like what I'm doing right now, just stay on top of mind with free content like this. It's incessant. It's like a monster. It never goes away. You constantly have to feed it and it's annoying. And you know what? It's not for everybody. It's not for everybody. I've been doing this since like 2013 or something. Um, and it's not for everybody. You know, I used to think that everybody can make money online. Anybody can make money online. And that's true. Anybody can make money online, but it's not for everybody. It's for a certain kind of person. A certain kind of person who hates their job more than they hate having to make free videos all the time or free content all the time or, you know, paid advertising all the time or, you know, whatever it is you're doing to stay top of mind all the time. So it takes a certain kind of person. I'm not going to fool you about it and make you think that it's for everybody because it's not. Some of you guys might be better off just getting a normal job and just, you know, collecting your paycheck every Friday. No, no offense to anybody, but some of you guys might just be better off doing that. The fourth thing that is a big problem with the golden path of the laptop lifestyle or the make money online niche is that like every day is the Super Bowl. Every day needs to be the Super Bowl around here and it's exhausting. It's absolutely exhausting. Everybody, I, I call it the cult of success. Everybody has to be on some kind of high trip about success and riding that righteous path and, you know, fighting the good fight and being positive all the time. The fact of the matter is we're not robots. We're not always positive all the time. It's unrealistic to think that we're always going to be in a good mood. It's unrealistic to think that we're always going to be excited and ready to do things. Sometimes we're not going to be excited and ready to do things. But around here, you can't express that because this is the cult of success. And anytime you express anything other than positivity and a willingness to try really hard and, and do your best and never give up, then you are out of the cult <laughs> of success. It's annoying. Every day has got to be the Super Bowl around here. And that's just the way it is. It was like that when I got here. It'll be like that long after I leave. Um, it's the cult of success. And maybe that's what it takes to be successful. You have to have that positive mindset all the time. You cannot give up. And I think that maybe that is true. You need to have that. But at the same time, it can be very exhausting because that's not how humans are built. We're not built just to have one emotion all the time. We have a gambit of emotions and we got to run through them. And if we're not running through them, we're not being real to ourselves. So 
And then the fifth one, and probably the one that's hardest for me to wrap my mind around when it comes to the golden path of the make money online space is the paradox of the make money online space. There's a paradox to this space. And honestly, this paradox is the only reason why it doesn't collapse on its own head, right? And that is sometimes hard to work in for after a while, you get tired of that paradox and it gets annoying. Um, but let me talk about the paradox. You see, 95% of the people who buy make money online products fall into three categories and none of them are going anywhere, right? None of them. You got hobbyists, right? And the hobbyists are dabblers. They, they dip a toe, they dip a toe, they dip a toe, they dip a toe. They never get past chapter one or two and they're just, they're hobbyists, man. They're stamp collectors. Uh, the second group of people is, you know, the entertainment crowd. They've replaced television with internet marketing, right? They're here on Facebook to talk to real internet marketers and to be part of the scene. They buy, buy products to be part of the scene, and it's just like their entertainment. They've replaced television with this. It's, the, it's just they're here for the they're here for the kicks, right? They're not going anywhere. Um, the third group of people are people who are not ready. They're just not ready, right? They're not ready. They just got here and like, it's like the freshman year of college and they got lots to learn. So they're going to be buying some things. They're going to be buying this and buying that and buying the other thing and watching this and watching that and watching the other thing. And they're just not ready. They're not ready. So they're going to be here for a while. They're going to be buying some stuff for a while until they're ready. Right? Now those three groups of people make up 95% of the people in the buying population of make money online, the buying demographic. And, and like, it wouldn't be frustrating if that group of people always changed, but the paradox of it is that that 95% of people, a lot of those people are repeat buyers. I'd say 70% of that 95% are like just repeat buyers. They just keep on sticking around and buying things over and over and over again. They're just repeat buyers. And it's a paradox because you got 5% who is taking action who actually do something and you got 95% who don't do anything. Um, now if that flipped around on its head and like 95% of the people who were buying things took action and only 5% were just not doing anything, then the problem is the whole market would collapse it would collapse. There wouldn't be enough new people coming in to sustain the market because 70% of these people are repeat buyers. So that's a paradox because it, 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 imagine for a second, replace it with a shovel business. Let's say I started a, a hardware store and I sold shovels. Guess what? I'm always having new customers because people only need one shovel. They buy a shovel maybe every six or 10 years, right? It's always going to be a new group of people. So it makes sense. They're coming into my store. They're getting something they need. With Make Money Online, it's a paradox because we are teaching people to move forward, but the only way we stay in business is because people don't move forward. I mean, how crazy is that? How does that even make sense? It doesn't make sense. It's a paradox. I didn't come here to teach the same people things over and over and over again. I came here to teach people things and then for them to move on. But that's not how it goes. We got 70% of the same people buying all the products over and over and over again. And if that didn't happen, this space would probably collapse. It's the paradox of MMO. And that is the fifth problem with the golden path of the laptop lifestyle. Um, and it can be frustrating. So why do people stay here? Why does someone like me stay here? It's simple. It's about like any other job you've ever had. If you love it, you stay. And if you don't love it, you should probably go find something else to do. Maybe you started out loving it and maybe you don't love it anymore. And as soon as you stop loving it, you should probably go find something else to do because the minute you don't love it anymore, it becomes a grind and it just starts chipping away at you. You know what I mean? It just starts chipping away at your soul a little bit. 
So what is the point to this video? The point is, you know, being here in internet marketing, trying to, you know, make money from home um, and do what we do, uh, it's not for everybody. And I want to be very honest with you about what it takes to do this kind of job. You know, in truth, not many entrepreneurs that are successful are lazy. Many of them work very, very hard to get to where they are. Many of them spend countless hours setting up systems and adjusting systems to keep things running smoothly. And you won't get that side of the story. You're not going to get the whole story from most internet marketers because of the cult of success. The cult of success dictates that no one can say anything negative about anything. Everything has to be positive all the time. It's nonsense and it's not real. It's a fiction. So I just thought I'd say that and bring it up because I wanted to be transparent with you about the job that you might be chasing. It might not be right for you if you're out there right now and want to work from home online. It might not be right for you. And what I'd say is, you know, search your heart. Search your heart. Do something that you enjoy doing. Do something that you're passionate about because that passion will carry you through anything that's kind of a pain in the butt. You know, I've been doing this for a while. I've been making videos like every week, uh, sometimes several times a week, uh, free content out here on Facebook, out here on YouTube, putting out courses and stuff for years. And the only reason I can sustain that is because I actually legitimately enjoy helping people more than I enjoy getting a bunch of money in my bank account. That's the only reason. So it's something to think about. Anyways, I hope this video finds you well. I hope you got some kind of value out of it. I feel like it's been sort of a negative message. I don't mean for it to be negative. I just mean for it to be real. That's all I got. You guys have a great weekend, and I'll see you next time. Peace, everybody.